There, that's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Could climb up there. I don't know how that would get us inside. I need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? 
Just in case. Just in case. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. Friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh huh. Then you just got extra lucky. Outside, I'm thinking maybe more. You got a camp in these here woods? Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. Hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, lower the gun. Clem, he's stealing our food. Alvin Jr., now! Wise woman. Clem, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. I was just leaving. for dinner. Who in the fuck was that? Just take a bag and fill it up. To me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. 
How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here, and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God, nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. 
Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And Lewis let us hit the walker like a pin... Uh, a pin... Pinata. Yeah. And that was scary, but it was fun. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now. But places change, and so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. <sighs> so cute. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, 
I never let him bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. entrance to the basement around here. Now we have to tell the others about what you did. 
Sam. Show yourself. Clem! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Damn it, Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed Stay. of what- Shut up! What'd you say? Shit. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Hell! Did you say that? I told you not to say it! Get away from her. Come on, Marie, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make them go away. Like he did. <laughs> Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Sit in there and lift up the latch. Can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help.
Trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Arm. Be reasonable. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? 
Cody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. I came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expensive. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. That doesn't mean he shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. Hesitate. 